What's our show again? What's the name? Moderately interesting. If that's what you want. We can make it that. Alright, are you ready? No. Let's jump right into things. Alright, what's up guys? And welcome back to our podcast. Uh, my name is Jeffrey. My name's Angelia. And this is, I think we're going to officially name it the, what is it? The Moderately Interesting. The Moderately Interesting Podcast. So, welcome back. Uh, if you guys don't know, we are engaged. We are doing podcasts together. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. Today's topic, we're doing, we're actually, we're going to change change things up a bit because we're still trying to get the flow of how we want to do things. We're changing things up. We're going to do like the main big topic and just kind of jump right into it. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about, uh, what is it again? Just being self-conscious. Yeah. Being self-conscious. Well, I can't believe I literally just forgotten like <laughs> 30 seconds of while we were doing that. So yeah, we're doing self-conscious and uh, I do want to read the definition first if I can of what self-con- self-conscious is. It's the feeling undue awareness of oneself, one's appearance, or one's actions. So, I don't know. Where do you want to jump in? This is a giant know. topic. I, yeah, there, where to start, really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like everybody feels that way about something. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether it's like what you look like. So, Sound like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hate my voice. I feel like everyone hates their voice when they hear it recorded, though. Yeah. Especially, like... Yeah, I mean, like, even, like, doing videos like this, it's very hard to, like, hear yourself talk. Yeah. It, it, You're like, it wow, really... I wish I was never born. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, but honestly, but I think, like, one of the good things of doing stuff like this is you kind of get over it. Even if you don't fully get over it, you, it kind of helps out a little you bit. You pretend you're over it long enough to get it done. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. Like, where do you want to go with this? Where do you, how do you want to go with this podcast? Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to talk about first? I don't know. Well, for me, um, I don't know. I feel like, like we just said, doing stuff like this, it can make you very, like, self-conscious and just in general. I know, like, when I first started doing any type of videos and stuff like that, just even, like, looking at myself on camera, I'm just like, God, this is so cringy. This is just, like the worst it literally makes you just want to crawl into yourself um but i think like i don't really know like i never really got over it like literally anytime i'm editing these these videos and and stuff like that you never fully get over it but i feel like things have gotten better over time i'm just kind of like eh, whatever or you just get used to it like yeah it's like if i make a mistake i'm like well i made a mistake all right i mean it sucks but you can edit it out. <laughs> yeah, but some I mean, but sometimes just like phrasing is just I don't know, just or even like your speech pattern, just like the way you say things. Yeah. Looking at it, you're just like, wow, why do I keep doing that? Yeah, and then, why do I talk like that? I know, and then you're, just, then you're just like, I wish I didn't do that, and then you still do it again. But I don't know, it's it's it is strange though. Just it is something that like everyone kind of faces, like some type of self consciousness in like something, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. It, it, it it's 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 just crazy. I don't know. Just <laughs> what about you though? Like I'm self conscious in everything. Honestly, the way mm-hmm. I look, my job, my our relationship. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I used to be worse though. I used to walk into rooms and be like, "Oh my god, are people talking about me? Everyone hates me." Mm-hmm. Like. It used to be a lot worse. Yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think even for me, though, too, it was always, like, yeah, like, just in, like, large groups of people, like, talking to people, it was super intimidating of just, like, I don't know, if there's, like, a whole bunch of people talking, or even just, like, new people, mm-hmm. it's very hard for me to kind of, like, go in and just talk normally to people. I'm always just, like, I'm going to probably say something stupid or just, I don't know, it... it it's always that like barrier to just like entry. I don't know. It's just, which is kind of strange considering like, yeah, even for like someone who, who's like worked in like retail where like you literally have to talk to people yeah. and like now working in marketing, like you have to talk to people, but it's just, it's still that kind of like weird type of feel of just 
like you feel like you're gonna like say something dumb or you don't really know what to say so it's just kind of like uh, i don't really know how to proceed with this but um, like it's weird like for me i'm usually not self-conscious around strangers mm-hmm. it's like people i know really because strangers it's like I don't know you, you don't know me, so what you think of me doesn't really matter. Like, mm. I can talk to patients on the phone all day with no problem. Yeah. Or, like, I can make friends somewhere I don't have any friends. Yeah. But, like, once people I know are around, I get, like, a lot more self-conscious. I don't really? know why. I know a lot of people are the opposite, but for me, it's, like, very low stakes when you don't know somebody. Really? You know, like, you don't know them, so yeah. it doesn't... You know, there's no, nothing to ruin, like no relationship to ruin. Yeah, because you don't. Yeah, you don't know yeah. them. I mean, I know that for me, it's like the opposite. Even though I don't know, but I, I can. I guess you can feel it both both ways. But I see what you're saying. But yeah, but for me though, it's mostly the opposite. Is usually people I don't know. But even, I mean, I guess it is too. Like you said, it is people that that you know as well. You still don't want to like make a fool of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but. The one thing I do want to just say, I don't know, since, since we're just free, free forming things here. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing, though, I will say, which I always find to be really strange, if people, when they're in a relationship, it's, like, more the fact of if they're super self-conscious, as in, like, they're scared the other person's going to leave, mm-hmm. and they're, like, super, like, oh, are you talking to this person? Were you doing this? Were you doing that? I always find that to be just, like, almost a waste of time. If someone wants to leave or someone wants to cheat or something like that, they're going to. Yeah. So I always felt like if you're just like one of those people who are super like, oh, where are you at? Are you here? Are you there? You know, it's just like. Well, some people can't help it, though. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think, like, I haven't been like that since I was like a teenager dating. Right. But I don't know. Some people, that's just like the pattern they've fallen into and it's kind of just become how they react to certain situations. I don't think people. Most people, anyway, really do it on purpose. It's right. Like they feel like it's out of necessity. They need to know where everything's, like, you know. Yeah. Which, so. I do understand that. But I feel like when you do that, it causes the person to kind of, like... Like you even less. Yes. It's just, like, I don't know. The more that you try to, like, control and, like, push someone, the like, less likely they are to try to, like, want to stay. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. I mean, it is, like, a two-way streak. It's, like, it's almost like a... What's the word? Like a... Catch twenty two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true, but, but it's. I feel like it's a hard thing to break because if you've been cheated on before. Yeah. You know, you start like anything that remotely looks like a sign of cheating. You're like, what are you doing? Where are you? Who are you with? Like. Yeah, I can see that. So, I feel like there's a lot of reasons. That people do it. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot. Yeah. But. It, it's weird to me that, like, everyone is self-conscious, mm-hmm. but, like, because you would think, oh, I'm self-conscious, but so is everybody else, so it's okay. Like, mm-hmm. you would think because everyone is kind of like none of us would be. Right. But it's, like, the opposite. Yeah. <clears throat> like, it doesn't matter if people around you are self-conscious or not. Like, it makes almost no difference at all. Yeah. I find that super bizarre. Yeah, I know. And, like, the other weird thing is just the fact of, like, the most famous person, whoever. It's, like, deep down, like, everyone has something that they're, like, oh, God, did I do that right? You know what I mean? Right. Like, even, like, listening to, like, other podcasts, like, Mm -hmm. people talking about, like, just doing stuff. Like, yeah, like, even, like, other people, like, when they do interviews with, like, other people, and they're just, like, God, like, after that, they're, like, crap, I, for, I forgot to ask them this, or they forgot to, to, to do that. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's, like, those type of things that, like, keep you up at night. It's always the most random things that, like, no, to I know, like, the, like, those memes, like, <laughs> <laughs> I me at 3 a.m. thinking about, like, when I tripped coming back from the pencil sharpener. Yeah. In, like, third grade. Yeah, like, third grade. <laughs> I know, it's, like, no one's thinking about it. Oh. That's the water. But, like, no one's thinking about it, but, like, to you, it's, like, the biggest deal ever, but in in, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like, maybe nobody remembers the thing you're thinking about. I know, like, the most embarrassing thing, like, half the time, no one really, no one really remembers any of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Except, like, yeah, like, except the person that did it. Yeah. And you just never forget, and you internalize it. Yeah. It's the worst. I don't know. Hang on a minute. I want to, like, reference my notes. I did take notes on this from, like, beforehand. Like, 
I don't know. I didn't. I'm not that prepared for anything. You know, but, but the one thing I did want to ask you, though. So, like, what do you think people can do to get over their, like, subconscious? Like, oh, God. Um, or do you, or have you, do you have any, like, personal tips that would be helpful to, like, getting over, like, certain things? I'm trying to think. Not really. It just comes with, like, age and, like, not giving a fuck about stuff anymore. Yeah. You know? Like, I used to make sure, like, I looked what I thought was perfect every day before I left to, like, go to high school. And now I'm, like, I, nev- I never wear makeup, hardly ever. Yeah. You know? It's just, you're like, what is what the fuck does it matter? I'm going to come home and... Yeah. You know? For, like, eight hours. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just... I deal with patients all day. I run around in scrubs. Mm-hmm. Like... I don't care what my hair looks like. It has to be up, so. <laughs> yeah, that is true. You know, it's just kind of like. It is what it is. Yeah. You get older and you don't give a, give a crap about the stuff you did before. Yeah. I definitely find, even though I still will. I still, I swear, <laughs> before like I, I look. I care what I look like. Don't <laughs> yeah, get me yeah, wrong, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I'm not going to get up an hour earlier before work every day to like put makeup on and do my hair. Yeah. Especially because my hair is red. It's not like I can freaking wash it warm every day. Yeah. You know, so. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I haven't had any, like, particular way that's helped. To just... Yeah, just time, I guess. Yeah. Being more self-conscious about other things. Like, now I'm self-conscious about being a good nurse and, like, doing the things I have to do in my job every day, like, Mm. right... Yeah. Where, like, ten years ago, I would have been like, oh my god, my eyebrows aren't even, like, it's the end of the world. Yeah. You know? So, I think it just kind of, like, your personality evolves, but I guess your insecurities also yeah. evolve. Yeah. With like, honestly, that's, like, one, yeah, that's, like, one of the most truest statements, because, yeah, truly, like, as you evolve, as you grow, like, the things that you thought were important back then, you realize you're not that, that yeah. important, but now you're, like... I gotta worry about this, gotta be, you know, thinking about this, and it's just, like, a whole bunch of just different right. things that you're always yeah. thinking about. Um, yeah, but even though, like, for myself, like, I've realized, even though I still do, like, sometimes before we, we like, leave, I, like, change. Oh, yeah, you change. Like, three. Three or four times. Three, three times. <laughs> literally, not like, an exaggeration. like, literally, as like we go out, I just, like, go back in, I'm like, wait, wait, I'm gonna change this And game. I'm, like, waiting on the porch, <laughs> or, like, waiting in the car, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, but I feel like I've, I've toned that down. Yeah. Especially... No, no, you haven't. I haven't? No. I think, well... I don't think so. Not maybe at all. Not. Maybe not, but... You'll be like, what should I wear? What looks better? This or this? Or be you'll be like, Siri, pick a random number. I know. I do, do, two. I do do that a lot, actually. You did that at Nike yesterday, picking shoes. Like, you're bad at making decisions, I think. Well, it's only, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, small like, decisions. Yeah, it's, it's not, only, like, the big stuff. Yeah. Like, just small stuff. Yeah. Like, what shoes should I wear today? I, know, just, I can't decide. Like, I don't know which one I should wear. But I feel like I have slightly gotten better with that where I'm like, all right, like I will, especially like now, like in like the winter, I'm just like, I'm going to wear some, some joggers and just like yeah. some sneakers and I'm just going to be fine. I mean, like for me, it's like, so I work five days a week and yeah. I wear scrubs all day and it's like, I'm not going to come home and like at like five or if I work my other job at like eight thirty. Yeah. And then be like, oh, let me plan an outfit. Like, the day's over. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Just... Like, I'm just going to be hanging out at home. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, like, I'm not worried about it. Because, like, the kind of people I'm around aren't the kind of people that will be like, oh, you look like shit. Yeah. They'll be like, they don't give a shit what I look like, and I don't give a shit what they Yeah, you're just like, hey, we're just like, at work together. Like, none of us fucking smell, so, Yeah, like... <laughs> you just show up. It's like, we're at work, we're in scrubs, we're doing our job. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think that... That is helpful, too, though. I mean, if we're going somewhere on, like, a Friday, like, this past weekend, we yeah. went to the auto show, like, obviously I'm going to, like, change and stuff. Like, yeah. If we're just going to hang out at home after I get out of work, what is the point of planning an outfit? Yeah. Just, like, wear some sweatpants and a t-shirt. Yeah, pretty much. You know? I yeah. don't know. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's, I don't I'm trying to, like, look at, like, what I'm, <laughs> I know. I had so many notes. I had so many things I had planned out to actually talk about. I can't read your notes from here. Really? Um, I, I feel like it's it's pretty hard uh, for women, too, just because of, like, the media. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like, <clears throat> the, like, people are more accepting of, like, bigger women now, but mm-hmm. it's still not really 
you know, because, I mean, with that, like, with weight, I feel like when someone sees a fat person, they think, like, wow, all they do must, like, all they must do is, like, eat and, like, be a slob and, like, mm. not work out. But it's, like, there are tons of people who are bigger who eat great and work out mm. and, like... Yeah, there's, like, other stuff that's going on. Yeah. yeah. So, just, you know, like, I feel like it's hard, that, like, kind of thinking kind of needs to be, like, worked on, like, with everyone, like, com- the society as a whole. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. different people have different, like, body chemistry, different, like, hormonal disorders, different mm. endocrine disorders, mm. like... You shouldn't see a fat person and be like, oh, wow, like, they're a slob. Like, I wonder what they did to... They must have let themselves go. Like, not yeah. everybody's like that. Yeah. But you do think it's getting, no better, at least I in do. some respect? Yeah. But even, like, for instance, mm-hmm. like, Lizzo. Like, some people are like, oh, yeah. wow, you're so empowering. And other people's are, people are like, wow, you're a fat slob. Like, put your ass away. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, you can't show up to the Lakers game just I mean, with your butt out. I mean, you can. You can. And she did. She did. I mean, <laughs> power to her, but, man, <laughs> you know, I mean, no, I, right. Like, obviously, she can. Yeah. But it's also like, can you? Is that indecent, like, exposure? But that's a fine line. Like, not you personally, right. but, like, do people have a problem with it because she's bigger and her butt was out, or because they have a problem with seeing butts? Because I'm pretty sure most, like, adult men don't have problems seeing a butt in public. Right. Well, now you're getting controversial. You know, you know? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one alone, because <laughs> now you're assuming. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, something to think about. Is that the problem? Well, Is to be fair... she's overweight, or to be her butt's f- out? To be fair, the Super Bowl and everyone flipping out about that, so... That's very true. So maybe not. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it is what it is. But, you, but I think that goes so much farther because people are like, that that's a whole like host of issues people have with the Super Bowl halftime show because they were like, how dare they have a Puerto Rican flag? It's like, what do you mean? How dare they have a Puerto Rican flag? I know people. It's what year is it? I know people. It was on the other side of an American flag. Yeah. Like, settle down. It, yeah. Literally, like, Puerto Rico's, like, one of our territories, so I right. don't understand, like, why are it... It's... That's yeah, a, so that's, like, a that's bigger a, issue. That's a that's whole nother... another time. That's a whole nother thing. We're, we're gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It, it, but you do think it, things are getting better, though, in that regard, like, as far as, like, body positivity. Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. I think, like, people are still, like... It's still, you know, just like anything, it's... It's gonna take a while, but yeah. I think it is still getting better. Where it's like, yeah, like I also people are think different. I'm more sensitive to it because, like, obviously, I'm yeah. like a, a bigger girl, but I have like a hormone disorder that made me gain a lot of weight. Yeah, uh, when I had been like re- pretty skinny my whole life, so yeah. like, I think I see it more than other people. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think I'm more hyper aware of it. Yeah, I think it's definitely gotten better. Yeah. You know, but even, like, on the flip side of that, I know we've talked about this before, though. Like, legitimately, like, like when I was younger, like, people used to always say, yeah, I was so, so skinny, I was so small, I was this and I was that. And that, like, really upset me. Yeah, like, it can absolutely go For, the like, the way. longest. I mean, still, though, like, I yeah. don't like when someone says that to me. I'm just like, And I don't think it's do okay, mean? I don't really think it's okay when, when people get, um kind of like tore down when they talk about how upset they are that they're like skinny and can't put on weight yeah like because it's like well it might be more acceptable in society like outwardly it might not mm. seem like as big as a problem because other people don't really have opinion about it yeah but it's still it, it must hurt just as much you yeah know what i mean so like i don't i don't think it's right that people belittle people who say that yeah because it's i mean at the end of the day like we all have our own, yeah, like, like all of us look in the mirror and go, "I hate that." That. Yeah, that. it's like, "What's this? Was that?" You know. So it. I wish I was more this. I wish I was more that. Yeah, I mean, some people with height. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like the one thing, though. I'm like, you know what? Actually, is really weird. When I was younger, I thought I was too tall. It's l- really sad. I know. No, but I thought I was too that tall. That hurts my but heart. The honestly. weird, the weird thing is though, because I like, I like grew into my height, like really young, like fifth grade. I remember I was tall. 
And but I, I used to feel the same way. Yeah. Because I was, I obviously, like, girls get taller faster. And by yeah. Like, I want to say by, like, third grade, I was almost the height I am now. Really? Yeah. Third Jeez. or fourth grade. Yeah. Cause, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because I was, like... And I was like, I was like oh my god, I'm like an Amazon woman and no guy's ever going to like me. You know, because every know, guy my age like was like up. super short. Yeah, they look up like, hello there. And I'm, I grew to the outstanding height of 5'6". So yeah. like, oh, okay. That's what my sister did. She did <laughs> the, the same thing. She grew and then she just stopped growing. But like, yeah, I like grew. Yeah, I had, I've been wearing the same size shoes since like, yeah, like 5th or 6th grade. And like, I thought I was going to be like, I thought I was going to be like huge, like 7 foot something tall. But then I just slowed down and I kind of was like, oh no, this is just my height. Which and is kind how of tall weird. are you for those who don't know? I am six foot two. I have measured myself multiple times with actual. Yeah, a true six foot two. Not like, oh, actual, how tall are you? I'm six with, foot. With actu- <laughs> I know. That's like, one, you know what? On a side note, that's one of my pet peeves. Are people who say that they're six foot tall, everyone says that they are. We're going to start bringing out like the, the measuring I know. tape. Just take it with you everywhere you go. Yes. Like, oh, are you? Yes. Let's see. Yeah, but, like, legitimately, when I measure my, myself, and, like, when I measure myself with shoes on, I'm, like, I think it's, like, 73 inches, so it's, like, it, I, I forgot the, I think it's that's still, like, under 6'3". I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm probably messing up the, like, whoever the, the thing is. I should probably do that. 73 inches is 6'1". Really? Yeah. No, I think it's seventy. I think seventy-five when I yeah. measure myself. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is seventy-five. I have definitely. Yeah. I was the one measuring. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah. So like, even like with shoes on, I'm still like not six three. So it's like I'm like six. For everyone who's like, oh, I'm six. I'm I'm six foot. I'm six three. Yeah. You're, you're, you're probably not. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know though. But, which like some people who are short though, I can understand that that could be a big you know deal though too. Yeah, and it's it's like something you can never you can't control. You can't control it at all, and you can't change it all. Just like I mean, not to get like too risque, but like dick size and like boob size, you know. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's like like something people you know what? get really like made fun of or like dragged through the mud for, and it's like I think people don't do that about boobs so. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. That's I think, your opinion. <laughs> I think definitely though, for guys, it is much more of like, oh, what's your penis size? If it's small, people are like, it's like immediately people. Are, I mean, I feel like now people are just like whatever. But I definitely feel like it's much more like, oh, you 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 have a small penis or just something like weird. But that's not that's I like feel a like whole for, other thing. But though, I feel like for girls, it's like, because a lot of girls just say that when they break up with a guy, and it's like that's not fair. Just. Hype him up to your friends. Tell your friends instead that he has a shitty personality because that's yeah. probably the reality of the situation. Like, yeah, like why you guys broke don't up. Don't call out like you know what I mean. What if yeah. it, it's the same as a guy being like she was fat as hell or like she had a really ugly at like I coming, know it's coming at your whole life. It's just like yeah, but you were with them for like all those years. Yeah. So obviously it wasn't that bad, now was it? Yeah, I know. I can't tell. Did the camera go off? I don't know. I don't know. Can you vamp for like 30 seconds? Can you keep talking for 30 seconds? Not less than 30 seconds? No, I don't seconds? think it turned off. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm going to get up slightly. Oh, God. Hang on a second. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I well, feel like everything. Someone has the other camera rolling still? Yeah, this one did. Shut. Hit. This one is still going. So, we're good with that. I'm going to turn this one off. <laughs> this one's still going slightly. I'm going to let this one cool off for a minute. And then we're going to. I will reset it. I just want to make sure this one will still still go. Ah, I want to make sure this one's still going. I can't wait until we can get a camera that doesn't shut off. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. That'd be great. I wonder if everyone's going to stick around until... Sorry for the... Epi- every episode, you have like 10 minutes of darkness if you're watching. Yeah. I mean, but this one's <laughs> going, though. At least I'll have that... Yeah. Like, footage. Sure. Um. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like not cool to make fun of people anymore. I mean, it never really was, but it was a lot more accepted. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's just like just get over it. Get over yeah. yourself. Yeah. Don't make other people feel like shit to make yourself feel better. Yeah, you know, especially like now, like even though we do live in a much more like you know like people get offended type of age, I do think it is good because. Certain like things should get offended at things that are offensive. Yeah, it's like things that are like it legitimate. question the way things are because everything's not perfect. Yeah, and I think that some people are, are upset. They're like, they're just like, well, why can't I do this anymore? It's like, well, cause we, we because think when you think about yeah, it, yeah, it's it's a shitty thing to do. Yeah, we, like, we really think, about, think it, about it. It's 
probably not the greatest thing. You know it's what I mean? It's just some ingrained behavior that you fucking learned that isn't okay. Yeah. And it's good that, like, our generation questions things. Yeah. I think. Yeah, when we're like, well, why are we doing that? Why are we saying that? Maybe that's wrong. We should probably look at that. And it's like, right? yeah, maybe we should look at some of the things that we are saying, that we are doing. It's like, For sure. It's yeah. not necessarily, you know, the greatest thing ever. Um, I don't know, but the one thing I do want to say, which I think we talked about this b- before, even though, like, I don't want to, like, bring up, oh, the race situation. But, like, gen- like uh, sometimes, like, being, like, just like in certain areas i feel self-conscious okay because i am black and like if i'm like around like a whole bunch i don't i don't i don't know how to like phrase this correctly but like going certain places i'm self-conscious that people could be looking at me weird and like i or if i stick out too much and i right. think like i think like anyone could feel feel that that way yeah. if you're somewhere where like you're like the only person of mm-hmm. like not even necessarily like an ethnic group, but like if you're like, if you if you basically like you know stick out like a sore thumb, you're just like, is everyone looking at me? Or you like kind of feel weird? You're just like, Ooh. I don't know. I think that's that's definitely like a thing though that people do feel like naturally. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it for like stuff like that though, I don't even know how to even like kind of get over it or like what can you even do? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we're here to provide answers. No. I think it's more of just like, hey, we go through it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's... Like, even starting this was, like, a big thing. Yeah. I'm not used to being on camera. I'm not used to talking about things to an audience. Mm -hmm. Not saying we have, like, a huge audience, but you know what I mean? I'm not used to saying things that I know have the potential for whoever wants to hear them to hear them. (laughs) Yes, you know? considering like YouTube is just terrible. <laughs> Comments are yeah terrible. Like Jesus, the things that pe- pe- people have said <laughs> about me, I'm just like like what? <laughs> give, give me some. I told you the the one dude what? was like if we, when you get a million do- uh, a million subs, you should do a <laughs> oh a dick reveal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look, if I get a million subs. I'm but just that's like, not like rude. No, I know. No, 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 no. Like, no. what's a rude one? Someone said. Uh. Without getting like too dark, or you can uh, go there. It doesn't matter. Honestly. Is it? Okay. Um. I know you've gotten a lot about like why does this why does this black dude talk like a white guy? Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's the one I was. Well, actually, it was a couple of those. Yeah, a couple of a couple of those. I, was I don't really of. know what that means. That's one of those things that should be questions because that in itself. And I'm just going to go off for, like, one second and go ahead. I'll stop. But, like, that in itself is really problematic because talking mm. proper English is not talking white. Yeah. Like, that is inherently racist, an inherently racist thing to say without even, you know what I mean? And yeah. a lot of people wouldn't really stop and think about it like that. Just, yeah. Oh, he sounds like a white dude. Yeah. But it's like, no, like, stop and really but I think though, pick if, apart what that means. I think, though, if you're saying that, you're already kind of, like... On the more like type of side of things already, so like yeah, they're like I feel like when you say that you're saying it as an insult anyway. Right, right, right. Like you don't say that as a comp. Like oh, you you sound so white. Like, yeah. Just like what? Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I've gotten just a ton of just <clears throat> terrible comments about just stuff and just people are like I don't know. Yeah, like definitely though they're just like or even like when I was doing all the like Jeep content, people were just like like ill a n-word and just stuff like that and i'm just like cool man even though like even like i can't remember who said it but so- someone at at church once was like oh you got a white boy truck oh yeah i know i was like like dang man. Like, i didn't know cars had races but that's fine i know I guess. like what what's up man jeez uh yeah i know that was you know what i mean so yeah. there's like there are things and i know we're like way off topic this has nothing to do with being self-conscious i guess but i mean it kind of does like because we were talking like, about the comments and, like, doing YouTube and, like, being on camera. But that's, that's like, the stuff. Like, people don't stop and think what that means for yeah. them to say certain things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you don't think about, like, what is this actually, like, they just think it and they say it. Or they've heard it somewhere, so they, like, repeat it. And it's, like, this is probably insensitive. Or yeah. Or, like, it has a fucked up meaning behind it. Like. Yeah, like, this is not right we shouldn't be saying these type of things um 
I don't know, but like, yeah, but for us to even be doing this, it is kind of like, you know, it's kind of a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, it definitely is. Yeah. Especially like doing like a podcast like this type of form. This, this is like when you just talk because it's just your personality. It's yeah. not like we're not like putting something on and like yeah, not turning doing anything, it up. For yeah, the not like doing a whole big crazy like uh, it's just like no, we're just sitting here talking, doing a conversation, yeah. looking at a camera. Right. Um, occasionally. <laughs> yeah, okay, occasionally. But then like yeah, so even to like do that though, like I know like cuz literally you never know like any any 4-year-old can just get well, not 4-year-old, but like anyone can just get on and like comment and be like, "Oh, you suck." Or, you know what I mean? Like, go, yeah, go, like, kill go kill yourself. yourself. <laughs> go kill yourself. I'm <laughs> just like, cool, man. Uh, but it's kind of crazy that, like, even though things are a lot less um, accepted, like, things like that. I mean, people obviously in YouTube, on in comments, still say it. But, like, in real life, it's, like, less acceptable to say things like that. Mm-hmm. And people are still just as self-conscious as ever. Yeah. You know, like, I, I haven't personally, and I can't speak uh, other than personal experience, but... Personally, I haven't noticed that people are less self-conscious because, like, it's not okay to be a shitty person and say shitty things to people anymore. Yeah. So, that sucks. Like, yeah. it's good that people are being better with what they say, but, like, mm-hmm. I wish it made a difference. Yeah. Oh. It's just, it truly is just, like, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know. But even, like... Yeah, though, but I know, like, yeah, like, I think we said it before, though, like, when we were introing, but, yeah, like, for me, like, the one big thing, though, with, like, doing videos, like, looking at yourself, like, on camera, is just, like, like, even just, like, talking and just, um, like, you know, how you, like, you know, how you even, like, like, frame yourself up for, like, an actual shot and stuff like that, though, it's, it is so weird when you have to spend, like, hours editing a video. Just, of just looking at yourself. Yeah, just, like, looking at yourself and then, like, looking and, you know, if, oh, you, God. if you say something wrong and then, especially, like, with, like, the more, like, vlog style, you have to, like, kind of, like, cut it, like, cut it up and, like, try to, like, certain, there's, like, certain forms, or not certain forms, there's certain sections of if I'm saying something and if it doesn't sound right, I'm just, like, I'll just cut that whole part out because it didn't yeah. sound right. It's just yeah. a lot. So, like, doing that is such a big problem and it's just like doing stuff like that it basically it makes me like very self-conscious i don't know that just ran around 50 different ways to say one point. no but I but guess, you know what i'm trying to say here. i guess like how you said before like if there's anything i can think of for people mm. to get, get like less self-conscious, self-conscious it's just like be comfortable with being uncomfortable like that's something i really learned yeah when I was in nursing school, I was like, well, this is, like, a whole new world, and it's really hard, and I don't know how to do any of it, and, like, I just have to be comfortable with putting myself out there mm-hmm. and continuing to be uncomfortable, and, like, I know it's so super cliche that, like, w- you, outside of your comfort zone is where you grow or whatever that that quote is that I just completely botched, but, yeah, like, it is true, like, you have to be uncomfortable to grow, like, you have you can't keep doing the same things and expect to get like more well-rounded or like yeah you have do to new stuff jump into it so and, like, like just do it yeah i think that's something that really because we've been talking about doing this for so long and i think that's something that really like pushed me to do it i was like well i got through nursing school like, yeah, I was like what else can i do if i can do that like when i was in nursing school mm. i um I talked, I was oh, part yeah. of, like, a panel of uh, domestic abuse survivors mm. that they, like, recorded and put on Facebook and, like, shared on our school's website. Mm. And it's, like, me three years ago would have never done that, but it's just, like, I can help someone. It's an uncomfortable thing, and if this can help one person not go through it, then, like, that's great. Mm. And it's just, like, I'm so... I'm uncomfortable every day I go to work. Like, every time... And even teaching, like, I teach, and, like, I sit in front of people Mm. and have to be, like, this is, let me teach you this. It's super hard. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you're stressed out about it. I'm stressed out about it. But it's, like, I'm just used to it now. I'm used to being uncomfortable. So, of course, I'm uncomfortable on camera, but I'm uncomfortable everywhere else, too, because I'm trying to move forward and better myself. Yeah, it's, like, you know, screw it. If (laughs) you're just, like, screw it, I'm I'm just going to do it, whatever. Yeah, like, even, like, I remember how you were doing the, uh... What did you, you spoke at the one, what, what was it at your school? 
Was it like the commencement thing or something? What was it? No, it was like the introduction, like the new freshman. Um. Yeah. Oh, like you were still. I, the... I, I. Yeah. I spoke at nursing orientation. Yeah, that's what it was orientation. And like I submitted a speech. Um, oh yeah. I, I had to write it in like forty-five minutes, so I didn't win. But I submitted a speech to speak at graduation, and I was just like, I'm gonna take every opportunity I got because I didn't yeah. go to college right out of high school, and I'm trying to get the experience. Yeah. And I really like held fast to that and did that, and I I feel like that helped me a lot. Like. Yeah. Little things don't matter. Like if you know, like if the students I teach like don't like me, then don't co- don't come back to you know like your your like um your tutoring or don't come back to your supplemental education class. Like that's on you. Like if you don't like me, you don't have to be here. Yeah. But I'm gonna help the people that want to. And want to be there. Yeah. The one actually. Yeah. Um. I don't know, but I think like the the other thing though, especially like even like starting this, it's like because this is something new. Mm-hmm. so like yeah like even like the setup with the cameras and, and stuff like that it's something new so you have to figure out like okay what's the best way to do it so yeah it, it's gonna make you feel like self-conscious because you're just like crap it's, just, it, it's i want the quality of the production to like be so much better than what it is right now we'll get there yeah but it's also just like well but starting off anything new learning something new doing something new it takes time to like get to where you want to be so i feel like like people I mean, I, people do realize it, but you have to, like, really like really think about it. When you start something new, you're like, I don't know how to, like, really do it. Like, what else? What, we're, weren't we just talking about something? Oh, like, the makeup stuff. Like, we're saying, like, just, just like, of how, like, jumping into that whole world, it's, like, yeah. it's just a lot. When but you, I feel like when you jump into anything new, you're like, okay, like... I'm the one in the room who has, like, the least mm-hmm. knowledge about this, and I don't want to look stupid, and I yeah. don't want this and that, and it's just, like, everybody started somewhere, and if they can't remember that, like, that's on them. That's not on you for trying to better yourself. Like, kudos to you and fuck them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I know. So, it's, like... Because, like, I'm in a profession where everyone acts like they didn't start somewhere. Yeah, which is... <laughs> and it's, like, I'm coming out of nursing school. I'm not going to know how to do everything. And, like good for me for learning and fuck people who are like oh what do you mean you don't know how to do that Mm. like it's like you definitely started there you can act like you didn't but it's you know it's just like i have no patience for people like that yeah because like i'm right there to cheer on anybody who wants to better themselves like do it do whatever you want whatever makes you happy because people are going to be shitty anyways so you might as well like be true to yourself Mm -hmm. and like do what you want yeah. Like, hey, can you vamp for like thirty more seconds? I'm gonna turn on turn on the other camera. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I. Oh. I hate when people do that. It's like you don't you don't have to shit on someone else to try to raise yourself up. That's like, that doesn't help anyone. It just continues the cycle of like, people not being okay with trying new things or like starting a second career. Or any of that stuff. Like, don't discourage people from trying to be better people. Yeah. Sorry, coming back. Walking back over. This is not... No, this is a nightmare. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fine. This is what people want to see. People want to see these, these, these type of things. Um, Actually, I think... I should tell you, we've been going for, like, actually a minute now. I don't know how long it's been. Um, I don't either. It's fine. We can keep going. Oh, okay. Well, like, well, what else? What else? Like, what else do you think people are self-conscious about? Like, what are the other, like, major things? Um. Besides for obvious, like, like we said, like, looks, weight. I think even money, especially for, like, guys. Yeah. People get, like, people get weird about it, that, that yeah. type of stuff. Like, oh, who makes more? It's, like, whatever. You mean, like, in a relationship or, like... Well, no, yeah, definitely, definitely in a relationship. I mean, just in general, like, people are in their peer groups. I think people do. Yeah, I definitely know a couple of people who are, like, who definitely lie about how much they make. Yeah, but it's, like... But there are people who, like, I've had people, like, put me down. Yeah, and you're just, like... It's, like... Okay. I make pretty good money. Like, yeah. Not to be like that, but, like, I, I make probably... I But, to be fair, like... I make more now than I have ever in my, at least twice as much as I've ever made in my life. But like the year before, I think I just doing my taxes like 2018, I think I made $30. Yeah. So like, I'm not here to be like, Oh, I'm better than anybody else. Yeah. I'm not, but yeah. 
I know. Like, I, I just don't come at people about their money. I know. It's just like, <laughs> let everyone, like, people, def- like, people earn. It's, yeah, like, it's, you know what it's I mean? like, not you a can, race. Yeah, You're like, not supposed to be at a certain point by a certain age. I mean, you kind of, well, you know. Okay, like, you should... Know Somewhere. To, you should know how to cook by the time that you're, like, 30. Yeah, you should, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, yes. you, you don't need to buy a house by 23 or you're a failure. You don't need to get married by 25 or you're a failure. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's not a race. Yeah. Everything, like, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, like, if people have different lives. We're not all living the same life to get the same goals, like... Yeah. Um, but even though, yeah, like, I think, though, even though in the relationship, though, like, I don't, I don't know. Well, I think some guys are still, like, oh, I want to make sure I make more than my wife or my significant other. Why? I don't care. My like, man, pff, look, I, I, hope, I hope you make <laughs> ten times more than me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Right, Yeah. Like, I know I can't really understand because, like, I'm a woman. So I've, I've never, I don't know. I've ne- that's never been something that's crossed my mind. Yeah. You know, like, it's I don't just... care how much anybody makes. Yeah. As long as we're, like, paying our bills. Yeah. And both, like, con- you like contributing yeah. and, like, doing, doing your fair share. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. for us, like, you've been out of work before. I've been out, of, since we've been together, like. Yeah. We've both. Bad take, yeah, we've had to take care of each other. Like, life is, it go, it's up and down. Like mm-hmm. you know, you're, one one time I'm gonna be making more, one time you're gonna be making more. Mm-hmm. Either one of us could come home tomorrow and be like, oh, I lost my job. It's like sick. Yeah, like, I know. It happens. Like, yeah, I I know. I don't really feel like it's a thing. Yeah, it should be a thing. <laughs> yeah, it really shouldn't be. I mean, I don't know. I think that's well. I was I was gonna say that I feel like that's an older generational type of thing, but I still know some people now are they're just like, you know, they want to make sure they make. But more. I think that's more of like and not, I don't know how else to say this. I feel like that's more of a control thing. Yeah. Not not that they want to control their significant other, but they want to have more of a say in how what things are spent on what. You yeah. know what I mean? More say in where like the money goes in the household. Yeah. I don't think it really has much to do with the money. It's just, like, they want yeah. the upper hand. And that goes back to what I was saying, like, with in the relationship, if you're self-conscious, when you're just like, oh, you, like, you want to... It's like that type of behavior. It's like they almost want to, like, control you. And yeah. I don't like when people are like that. Yeah. Like, male or female. It's just, like, I don't, like... To me, I'm like, that's, like, one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, you can't control the other person. If someone wants to leave or, like, cheat or whatever, mm-hmm. they're going to do it. Like, you trying to control them is not going to stop them. But I also feel like that comes with age, too. Because you realize, like... You know, when you're younger and you're like, oh, my yeah. God, I love them so much. I'd, like, literally die without them. But then, you know, like, you're like you no. feel that much for, like, three people and, like, all three of those relationships fell apart. And you're like, well, this is great now, but yeah, like, I will survive without it. And I yeah. feel like that mindset that you develop kind of contributes to, like, not acting that way anymore. Because it's like, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Yeah. It suck. It's not that I want it to happen, but... Yeah, but you're like, but, it, you know, if it does, it's nothing I can't, like, like I've, force. I, I didn't think I would get through all the other breakups, but I did, so. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, I feel like I don't... I don't really... I don't... I've never, like, done that, though, in, in a relationship. What? Been, like... Been broken up with? No, I mean... I'm. Well, <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, no, really? I'm, no, 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 no. I mean, oh. like... No, I mean, like... <laughs> I mean, like, been like, oh, where, where are you? Where you, where are you going? I've never been like that. I've always been like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you're going somewhere, cool. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I feel like I've never been like, oh, where are you going? Who are you going with? Like, who's gonna be there? It's just like. I mean, I feel like sometimes I ask you where you are, but it's not like, oh, where are you? It's like, no. Are you home? Have you eaten? Do yeah. You want me to grab something? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not like, oh, where are you? Who are you with? How long have you been there? <laughs> yeah, but then I do feel when you are, are, are in a, when you are in a relationship, it is somewhat of a responsibility to be like, oh, hey, I'm like here. You know what I mean? Like, let your, your significant yeah, other know. Because you live together. You know, yeah, don't, don't be like, you know. Think you're dead. Yeah, don't be like out, you know, doing like crazy stuff, like sneaking around and trying to do stuff behind people's back. But yeah. I just don't like when people take it to, to the extreme and they're just like, oh, are you going somewhere? Like, I hope, you know, like, it's just, it's like, let's calm that down. It's. When, and that truly, I believe that's coming from, like, when you're self-conscious. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, I don't know. It's it's. But on the other mm. other side of it, like, I feel like 
if you are with someone who's self-conscious, you should do what you can, within reason, you should do what you can to, like, put those fears to rest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you're out there kind of acting, like, kind of sketchy, not technically doing anything wrong, but still being sketchy, like, that's not going to help. Right. Yeah. But, like, and, of course, don't walk on eggshells so somebody who has issues that you didn't cause controls Mm -hmm. everything you do, but there's, like, a happy medium, like, act in a way where they they aren't worrying but yeah you know yeah like there is some responsibility on the other end to try to like help yeah but it's like a very it's a sticky situation and it's very tricky not to make it swing like way the other way yeah um i don't know it's it's like it's it's just it's just very interesting but I, i do think though like overall though like man woman both sides have still like the same self-conscious type of tendency even though i feel like there are certain things that are like more gender specific but like overall it's like people it's like the same type of we stuff we all just want friends and yeah we want people to we want like people us to we be want liked. someone to love us yeah so i mean yeah you want to be you want to be liked you want to be you know socially acceptable um and like you know like live a happy life pretty much yeah and then like i guess we're all kind of self-conscious like did I make a fool of myself? Like, do I look okay? Like, are people going to talk about me behind my back? But, like, nobody really gives a shit. Yeah. Like, if you're somebody... around the right people, if you're not around yeah. catty people who just want to, like, talk about others, like, people didn't notice half of the shit you did. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Like, half the <laughs> nobody time... Nobody remembers what you wore. Yeah, half the time, no one even... No one no one cares. <clears throat> that's the one thing. It's like, half the time, no one, no one cares. No yeah, one literally cares true. what you did, like, what you said, what you looked like. Like, whatever. Just yeah. go through your life. Right. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Do you have any like closing statements, topics? Not really. That's I pretty good. I got, and I know I think I got it all out of the way. That's good then. Um, <laughs> Do you? Um, I don't know. I think if there's anything I can like put a pin in it with, I will say though, yeah, doing this is a like. It's a not like a big thing, but it is something. It it's is a, it's maybe like, not so much for you because you're already like on YouTube and right. But the, yeah, but I think though, even though it's the fact of like, well, I, I, it still kind of is because this is like different. Right. Of right. a sit down. It's more intimate. talk straight. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. for me, like like I was saying, like doing like a video, like a vlog, or doing something else. It's mm-hmm. much more of oh, you can say something. If I messed it up, if I botched it, I can cut, just do it again. You know you, you know what I mean? Wait, can we talk about your stutter? Oh, oh yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Is that okay? Yes, sure, why not? Is this one of those parts you're going to be like, wait, nope, it I'm ended like, there. Like, Never wait, mind. I, didn't want I know, to it's just, just like a big cut, like cut, and then we're just, like, we just come back. We just come back, like, all right, we're ending. Um, I guess so, why not? Um, yeah, I don't know, that's what I mean. It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know. What do you want to say? You. I don't know. What do you want to say? I just feel like, has that made you... The fact that you have a stutter, has it made you more self-conscious? How, like, how has having a stutter changed the way you act around people? Oh, yeah. Well, definitely that has made me... Even though I feel like... I don't. You know what? It's weird. I feel like I don't stutter as much anymore, but it's still... You don't. I don't think you do at all. Yeah. I I'm mean... Trying. I don't, I don't think you stutter that much at all. Not, I notice your stutter sometimes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, which it's to me, it's like it's not even really, really like a stutter anymore. It was a stutter when I was younger. It's much more I stuttered when I talk like a lot. I feel like it's not necessarily that now. So like when now. you stuttered when you were younger, mm. was it like you saying a, a part of a word over? Yeah, and over? it was like the more the traditional stutter. Like because now I feel like you have the stutter where you can't say. Yes. Whatever you're saying, you know yeah. what I mean. Like you don't say anything. You don't. Yeah, we're like, like we're, we're like I'm just like uh, I can't quite get a word out. Like I can think it in my brain, but I can't. Yeah, physically. and then you like think of physically, another word. Yeah, yeah, I physically can't say it, so I have to like think of another word, like an alternate or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I know those are two different kind of stutters. I'm not a language expert. Right. I don't know exactly the difference, but yes. I know those are two different kind of stutters. Yes. Which I feel like, yeah, because even though, while we were just filming this, that's happened to me mul- multiple times where I have to, like, <laughs> trying to say something and I'm like, I can't quite say the that. And I have to like alternate. And yeah, say, you like, have to like think in your head and change your whole sentence. I think it's very, like, I think it's fascinating, honestly. It's kind of weird. But yeah, but I definitely feel like that has made doing this type of thing 
much harder because it's much more of okay cool talk straight like no cuts or anything like that when you when you're doing something else like a video like or vlog or whatever it's much more of okay cool if i screw something up i can cut redo it again say it again you know you know what i mean and even if i like screw something up and like in like two different sentences like if i did it the first time and like the first part of it was right and i did it the second time the second part was right i can like Put them together. yeah edit it and make it sound like something yeah proper but but doing, I, f- I feel like your your stutter has gotten a lot better Yes, I definitely feel like it's not, like, as much, like, stuttering, like, in a more traditional sense. It's much mm-hmm. more of, like, I don't even know what, I don't, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not a brain fart, it's like a, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't quite know where you're just kind of, like, I don't either. I, like, I, I don't know I'm the right terminology. Expert. I don't know. Sorry. Um, do you, like, consciously not start the word? Is that what's changed? Do you know what I mean? Like, when you were a kid... And you said it was more of, like, repeating a yeah. sound. So you, like, consciously don't start the word now? Or no? Yes. Or if it, is it does it kind of just happen? Well, kind of both ways. Sometimes it okay. can just happen, like, out of nowhere. Where I'm just like, I can't, or I just repeat a part of the word, like, multiple times. But sometimes I can honestly feel when it, if I'm about to stutter, I won't say that word. So it's, like, two different kind of... Yes. But it's, yes, but then it's it's also the fact of sometimes, I, like, if I try to say a word, like, just any part of it at all, physically, it, feel, it feels like it, it just, I can't say it. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I, don't even know, I don't really know what that is. That's yeah. not really a stutter. It's some type of weird, I don't really know. I don't, I don't want to call it weird, but it, I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's where, like, you try, like, physically, like, if it's, like, the word apple. Sometimes if I'm speaking and I'm like, yeah, I had apple apple pie, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, I'm about to say the word apple again. In my brain, like, almost, like, before I say the word apple, it's just, like, I know I, it physically won't come out. Like, I'm just, it'll take me a second. I would have to, like, stop and be like, apple. And that's so weird. Yeah. And it would literally, like, I would literally have, have, have to pause and just, like, physically, like, I don't know, like, not center myself, but, like, focus like regroup yeah and then to focus and then say apple so instead so you of you can like physically feel yes, it like it's just like if i yeah i don't can know can you explain what it feels like do you does it feel like anything else you've ever experienced that you could like put no, in words it's literally just like in my brain i don't know how to i don't know how to quite frame it i was just curious yeah i don't know it's, it's like almost it's almost in my mind where it's just like i can't say it like i can feel it in my brain and i don't know if that's physically or just like a mental thing i don't quite know but it only happens randomly on random words and then like so literally if i'm in that if i know that that's coming up i'll, I'll like make an alternate and i'll like say fruit and right, but then yeah, yeah. but if i'm already you know doing a sentence of apple i have to like change it into like fruit and like mid conversation and then it's just kind of like that in the itself, speech pattern gets all yeah, jumbled up yeah I feel like I do that a lot. I don't think so. Oh, I feel like I do that a lot. Like, feel like when I'm talking, it's it's like I have. I feel like my speech pattern. It's so weird because sometimes I'm like literally changing. You stop and you have to like. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm changing like almost what I'm saying while I'm saying it. So sometimes it's like I'm rambling, but it's really. Or you're like backwards. Yes, or because it's literally because I'm trying to reroute what I'm saying, and that happens like multiple times, like as I'm like in conversation, and that's reason why sometimes I'm like rambling on. So like doing that is very hard. Doing a podcast is very hard. Can I just say (laughs) that like, how do I want to say this? For like people who think people either like that speak a different language or yes, um, have like disabilities or like have a stutter Mm. for people that think they're stupid. Do you realize like how much more they're doing in their brain where you can just talk normally? Like, yeah, that astounds me that like people will like talk louder and slower to people who speak a different language. Yeah. It's It's like they, they can think and speak and understand in two languages. Yeah. It's like, Like, that doesn't mean they're unintelligent. Yeah. It's like, they're literally translating what you're saying, you know, and like have to understand, like be like, okay, okay, okay. And like, let me repeat this back. You know, say the a, a proper right. response back to you. Yeah. That's really annoying when people do like that. It's like, it's like, yeah, like, it's like their English is way better than your whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, they're like doing so much more in the same time it takes you to just speak in your regular native language. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that that's like one of my pet peeves and that's why I brought it up because like I can't stand when people 
treat people like they're less than when they have so much more going on in their brain. Like, I can't imagine, like, what you just explained. Like, mm. having to stop, like, while you're still talking, stop, think of something else, figure out a way to, like, go in that other direction. I, I can hardly just talk like a normal person anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just... I hate people who do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I know, and I'm probably going to botch this because it's like... It's fine. Very we're, we're beginning just... of nursing school stuff that I don't really remember. But I know with like dementia patients, which I know is not the same as a stutter, but I know there's like different kinds of mm. um, language things that happen. Like there's like express expressive aphasia, I think. I think. I could be so wrong, but it's like... For some people, they can't figure out the word. And then, like, for other people, like you were saying, they, they can think of the word, but they can't vocalize the word. Mm. Like, so it, like... Oh. Yeah, so, like, different um, places in the comprehension cycle is where, like, your issue is. So, like, I kind of get what you mean. And I probably... That's probably wasn't the right, like, vocab term. Right, well, whatever. But, but we, I, <laughs> we understand at least what, what, what you're saying, though. There, so, there's, like, different... Like, I get it. Like, there yeah. are different kind of issues that come up in different parts of the cycle that make different speech things. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I was saying, to put, ah. a, to put a pin in things... Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to totally go. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine, whatever. This is what we're doing. It's a podcast. We could just we're we're just talking. We're having a conversation. We're having fun here. But to put a pen in things, yeah, doing this, something different. It's like it's 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 new. Could mess up, could screw up, could do you know what I mean? But it's like whatever. At the end of the day, it's like it's just you know, like stuff we're just putting out there, like whatever. It it could be worse. So, yeah, I don't know, it's Everyone is self-conscious about something. You just kind of kind of have to do it. And that's the one thing I do want to say. Like, anyone that wants to do something, like, just, just do, do it. it. Like, jeez, just, literally, just do it. I know. I wanted to be a nurse. Well, technically, I wanted to be a cardiothoracic surgeon, but I didn't go to college out of high school. But, like, I wanted to go to nursing school for so many years. And I told mm. myself, like, I'm not smart enough. There's no way I'm smart enough. Yeah. And I got through it all four semesters without failing, which is, like, a big deal. Yeah. You know? And it's like, I could have done this years ago. Yeah. But I was standing in my own way. Yeah. It's like, just just do it. Like, seriously. Like, so many people, they're, they're just, like, thinking in their in their mind, in their brain when they're, when they're just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. It's like, just... Give it a shot. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I try to, like, think it. about, like, so if I went to the doctor tomorrow and they told me I had six months to live, would I be happy with, like, mm -hmm. how I've been living? Yeah. So, like, I try to, like, that's how I try to keep everything in perspective. Yeah. You Which know? is, honestly, that's, like... That's I mean, I know really it's, good. like, morbid, but it's, like... But it's also very true. Would I think I just wasted my time doing things I hate? Yeah. So. I don't think you get one life to live. Might as well live it up. Mm-hmm. Or at least live it in a way that you don't hate. Yeah, yeah. Like obviously, we can't all just go on vacation. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like. yeah, it's like, I'm gonna go living in like the Bahamas for the next twenty years. Like, yeah, that'd be cool, but you know, gotta have some type of reality to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so this was fun. Yeah, I don't know. Um, where can people find you? Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Um, that's it here. Yes. But and my Instagram and Twitter, Panda Cow with two W's. Panda Cow, it's up on the screen right now. You can find me at Omega Greed, pretty much on everything. It'll be up on the screen and on YouTube. Check me out. Subscribe. Yeah. Um. So this has been fun. Uh. This podcast. We still don't. Fully, no, we do. We just said the name that the. <laughs> <laughs> we just said the name of the podcast at the beginning of this. We have to get it an outro, like, and an intro. Yeah, we do. But I guess, like, can I just say, mm -hmm. this is because this is as much of an outro as we have right now. Like, thank you to everybody who's reached out. Like, so many people have reached oh, yeah. out and Seriously. said it was really cool that we were doing this. Or, yeah. Like, they've been like, I love it. I subscribed. We appreciate you. That's great. Like, that's yeah. a great motivator to keep doing this. Like, it makes us feel great. So, thank you so much. Yeah. Like, seriously, that's, like, really cool. It is definitely appreciated. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
But yeah, so this has been episode two, <laughs> officially two, yes, of the moderately interesting, moderately interesting <laughs> podcast. We're gonna get this together. Yeah. Moderately interesting podcast. Um, we will see you guys next week with a interesting topic that we're gonna bring. I think I, I think I like if we just do like the whole episode, just one big topic, because yeah. it's just jump right into things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. All oh, right. we should do a QA and a if we can uh, get enough questions. Oh, yeah. Leave questions if you have questions. Yes, leave questions, do a and a Or, yeah. like, if you know us and you don't want, like, your questions out there, you don't want, like, everyone to know what you wanted to ask us, like, mm-hmm. message us. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that actually would, would be cool to do a Q&A. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So questions, give us. Yes, give us. All right, guys. So we will see you guys next week. And like that, we are out of here. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.